Let's move to a little bit of a fun topic with the inauguration, shall we? Uh, let's talk about the soundtrack, right? And there is something pertinent, again, to kind of show you what the next four years are going to bring. Um, what I read is, uh, Mint Press News covered this. Uh, the last story, by the way, Gray Zone, excellent publications. Um, what they what, what Mint Press News showed was one of Biden's uh, soundtracks. These aren't. I don't think these are people playing or performing at the inauguration, like Fall Out Boy. But uh, these, are, I guess, people like Walk On Music or whatever. Is going to be Kendrick Lamar, and one of them is MF Doom. First of all, huge fuck you to both those artists. Huge fuck you to both those artists. Kendrick Lamar is... Man, Kendrick Lamar does not give a shit about the Democratic Party, and co-opting his music to make it sound that way... And I can tell you, I, I, MF Doom probably is on that same boat. Is like, I don't think he gives a shit about the Obama administration, uh, but... This is just a ploy, man, to be like, aren't we hip and cool? We're listening to Kendrick. It's the same thing as fucking Kamala Harris being like, I smoked weed once. And then I listened to Biggie Smalls. That's the name I heard once. Somebody told me Biggie Smalls and he said the rap words. I saw the movie Notorious. I didn't watch it, you know, it was kind of in the background as I was uh, putting more black people in prison and telling single mothers that it's their fault that their kids are truant. I didn't really watch it. But I thought about watching it, and it was playing in the background. So I know about the Biggie Smalls. Okay, and there was marijuana in that movie, and I think I might have gotten a contact high from just watching that movie. So, you know, marijuana, I've done it. It's happened. It's the same thing. And everybody's like, what What are you doing? She did the same thing. Medicare for all. She's like, yeah. And then and Sienna, they were like, wait a minute. Didn't you say you weren't? And she's like, no, I misunderstood the question. How could you misunderstood the question? Are you for or against Medicare for all? Raise your hand if you were for Medicare for all. I misunderstood it. What I heard was, are you willing to let Americans die for the sake of health care profits? the insurance profits. I got confused. They're just using them as a ploy. These people don't know Kendrick Lamar's music. They don't know what the, what his music actually stands for. Have they fucking listened to it? Have they actually gotten into Okay, here's something I, I used to love doing, and I'm, uh, I, I wish I got the opportunity to do it more, is I used to just love fucking getting into my car and listening to an album, top to, top, top to bottom, and just being on the road throughout that entire thing, right? And just absorbing it. And then I would listen to it again in my headphones and shit. I love doing that stuff. It's, uh, you know, and I would listen to it and, like, see what I can pick up from it. I, I bet you they've never fucking done that with anything. And they're fucking claiming that they're Kendrick fans. Eat a bag of dicks. Now, MF Doom is an even bigger fuck you to that artist. MF Doom passed away, uh, unfortunately. And I, I like, I'm, I'm a fan of MF Doom. If, you, uh, if you've come to my virtual shows, you know I play a little, like, I play music, you know, like for the pre-show as people are coming in and getting settled into, into the virtual showroom. MF Doom is part of that soundtrack. So is Kendrick. There are a lot of really great um, rap artists. Some real, like, it's, it's, it's like group music. Music that talks about the struggle, talks about the issues, talks about real shit. Not make not sit there and have fucking four white boys that wax poetic about their cocks and then when people don't like them they beat the shit out of them with their bass fucking latent 
hyper masculine bullshit. Yeah, that's what Fall Out Boy is. I know, I fuck, I really hate Fall Out Boy. <laughs> But MF Doom, here's here's what under the Biden administration, uh, I'm sorry, by the Obama administration, I get them mixed up because they're blurring into one. Uh, under the Obama administration, MF Doom uh, moved to the United States with with his mom prior to the Obama administration, obviously, uh, and he went on tour in, in the UK, and then when he came back in 2010. He was not allowed to come back into the country. They blocked his immigrant status, and then he had to move back to um, uh, the UK. They, they had to figure out how to get back to the UK and stay there. Why? I don't know. Just because. ICE wouldn't let him back into the country. They were just like, hey, you seem... You're black enough that we don't like you, is basically the way that they looked at it. You're the wrong hue of brown. Are you gonna are you gonna become a doctor that's gonna support neoliberal economic policies? No, then fuck off. We don't want your kind of brown here. Are you gonna go bomb brown people? Are you gonna bomb other brown people and make that look cool? No, then fuck off. We don't want you here. That's the way that the uh, the immigration fucking operates, right? Maybe this is a good time to bring this thing up. The whole like model fucking immigrant, right? Uh, liberals give me that shit all the time. I'm not the model immigrant. I'm a little too I'm a little too aggressive, I'm a little too much on edge, I'm a little too much of a fucking socialist for them, and I don't give a shit about supporting the Democratic Party. Henceforth, I'm not a model fucking immigrant to uh, to liberals. I'm just not. Not that I give a fuck about being a model immigrant. Doing the little Indian accent and a little jig for you guys and being like Republicans are crazy, huh? Boy, those Democrats sure will save us brown people. We need those squishy white liberals to save the browns. Then they'll give me a fucking Netflix special or some shit. I, that, that's the only way you can be a brown person or a black person in America and be truly accepted by liberals. Or you can be like MLK, uh, where you were that radical of an individual but in order to you know make you sound acceptable in their terms they soften the blow and they and they co-opt some of your phrases take them out of context and and flip them upside down to serve their fucking bullshit pseudo racist agendas anyway mf doom gets Deported. That's what happened to him. He got deported. And now, and Biden was part of that administration. That's a, a mass deportations under the Obama administration. More deportations than the last few administrations combined. Right? And now they have the fucking balls to use one of his tracks on their soundtrack. What a fuck. I hope these artists sue them. I hope, I hope whoever, you know, uh, now has majority control of MF Doom's work fucking sues their ass. I hope Kendrick sues them. And again, that is, they're, they're hinting. Hey, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to use... This rapper's dead, but we deported him. And we're going to use his song. Because fuck you. What a disrespectful thing to do. And if Biden doesn't remember... That's an even bigger fuck you. Because all that means is there were so many deportations with Obama-Biden. That they all blurred into one. And that, again, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see another, uh, another round of harsher immigration status. Harsher immigration policies under Biden. They're not going to clear up. Not going to get better. 
This dude hasn't fucking changed in the last eight years. He's gotten older. He's gotten way more angry. And he himself feels like he's the, you know, some weird form of destiny for him to become president. He has his own fucking white savior liberal god complex. And this dude is going to create mass deportations and he's going to create worse criminal justice reforms. He wants to create a police oversight committee. Great. Who's going to be on that? It's going to be regular citizens. And then he and then he's like, "Well, I want to give the police more money." What? They already get six billion dollars, NYPD. A couple hundred million for the LAPD. I mean, how much more money do they need? They get so much money that they, at this point, could have done some training programs that didn't involve seeing black people as criminals and dangerous. What we need is more social programs, more focus on mental health, a decrease in poverty. Biden administration ain't going to do any of that. How are you going to help a, a, an entire country that's been traumatized by not Trump, but decades of neoliberal economic policies? I was talking to my girlfriend about this yesterday of like how you could be a librarian and still go on vacation once a year to a different country, making, you know, average wage. Whereas now, if you made average wage, you, you can't even take a fucking vacation to Delaware. Who can afford it? That's, you, you, you're willing to lose a week's worth of pay and then pay a bunch of additional money? Get the fuck out of here. Nobody can afford that shit. Well, so, some people can afford that shit, but those people are fucking rich. Having a rapper be that you deported be a part of your soundtrack is a, the biggest fuck you. It's so disrespectful. And it's a signal. It's a signal to immigrants and people of color that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris do not respect you. You are tokens to them. You are a political play to try to appeal to the youth vote. That's it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do... Uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video. Thanks again.